Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to take a look at the WOW physics engine in Paper Vision and, of course, Flex 3. Now, the motivation behind this is uh, I was recently working on an orbital simulation, and can you see here the sun and the, the planets that orbit the sun. And there's Earth right there, a little tiny speck in comparison to the other planets, and the sun in the background. And I needed a physics engine, of course, to make this run well in paper vision, and that engine is, of course, the WOW physics engine. I'm going to show you today how to get that installed. I'm going to show you a non-trivial example. Now, the example that we use and all the code that we give you is available on Google Code. You can find it on code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex3 cookbook1 forward slash downloads forward slash list. And this particular zip would be wowengine.zip. Let's go ahead and take a look at the program. So here's the program we're going to be developing today in the WOW uh, Physics Engine and Paper Vision 3D. And all I have to do is click the stage to randomize the 3D force vector. Let's do that. And you can see all, we have all these bouncing planets. Now right now they're not orbiting. I wanted to get some basic WOW code out there. And then we'll add the orbital equations in there next time. You can turn gravity on. So click on turn gravity on and see all the planets are pulled down lower. Or you can actually change the position of the gravity so, that's right, so they're actually pulled up. Or you could change in the X and Y uh, dimensions as well. So you actually can control the force vector here. Let's turn that off and you can see we have a zoom. So you can zoom in to the planets and zoom back. And as well, we also can increase the rotation or send the rotation back in the other, other direction. So you can truly see that we're in 3D here in the paper vision. And you can see the WOW engine working as well. The two are a great combination. Now what I want to say, there's some real good news here, is that using the WOW engine is extremely easy. So if you can use paper vision, then wow, is this pretty much just an addition in the same way. Uh, once again, you can get all this code on the Google Cookbook. Let's go there real quick. So just go to the Google address and go to the wowengine.zip and uh, download that and put that in the Flex. And the same example I just ran will be there and it will run fine. And it has a wow engine in as well and it's great starter code if you don't want to go through the installation process. We're going to show you how to install wow and get it working in paper vision. And we're going to talk a little bit about how it works in paper vision. Now, it is a, from what I consider, a perfect match for paper vision. Basically, you, you create a paper vision object and you create a wow object and you just put the two together. And uh, that's how it works. It's just really, really simple. It's, it works in parallel. And uh, where do you get the wow engine from? Well, you want to go to this address right here. The Shiroto Koro. Uh, address on the ACS 3D physics engine. Just scroll down and it talks a little bit about the WOW engine. Now the WOW engine is a free ActionScript 3 open source physics engine written by Serif, capable to handle positions in a 3D environment. The WOW is based on the Sandy library and it uses the mathematical computations that come out of APE, which was a 2D uh, program but now is extended to 3D. And the WOW engine is capable to handle positions and rotations of abstract objects which need to be linked into some visual object. And that's what we're doing in, in uh, uh, Paper Vision 3D. We're linking these uh, 3D uh, WOW engine objects to Paper Vision objects. And it can be used for a, a number of things. We're actually going to use the matrix of functions in WOW to do the orbital equations later on in the following tutorial. So that's where you get it from. And uh, let's uh, show you how to install it in Flex and get it running. So I'm back in Flex. I'm going to talk about how to install the WOW engine. You can see right here uh, in my Flex folders, I've called this Flex 3 WOW Bouncing Planets. And I have two new folders. I have what's called a DE folder and an FR folder. The uh, FR folder is where the WOW engine exists. And it's just a series of classes. So it's very easy to just paste a folder into your Flex project here in your, in your source folder. And then there's a supporting folder called DE. And you have to have both of those to make this run. Let's go to the websites and get those. So let's go back to our... Uh, Word document here. The WOW engine can be found at uh, serif.mediabox.fr forward slash WOW dash engine forward slash AS3 dash 3D dash physics dash engine dash WOW dash engine. And uh, let's go to that address right now and download the uh, WOW engine and the supporting file. So we'll just scroll down here and at the bottom here, or towards the bottom, they have the WOW engine, so just click on that link right there, WOW engine version 1, and save that to your disk, wherever you save your uh, folders. 
and I've already saved it. And I'll go ahead and replace it again just uh, to show you how to do it. And then you have the AS3 structures for game developers for run. You need this as well. It won't run without this. So go ahead and download this folder as well. And this is the AS3 data structure for game development. And click right here on the zip file and download that as well. And you can see I've downloaded both of those previously, so I got that message there. And once those are downloaded on your desktop, you want to unzip those. So at this point, installing the WoW Engine is extremely easy. After unzipping the WoW Engine zip, you just double click on that, and here's the WoW Engine folder. Let's surf down to the FR folder, copy that. Go back to your Flex project. And just paste that in your SRC folder. And I already have it pasted in there, but I'll do it again. You can see it will replace everything. And now you've installed the WoW Engine. But if you run that, if you run a program, it won't work because you have to install the other piece as well. And that piece can be found in the unzipped AS3DS underscore 1 1.02 folder. And you're going to open that up, and you can see you have an SRC folder. And in the SRC, there's a DE folder and just copy that DE folder. Come back to Flex and paste that in your SRC folder. And I'll do it again. It's already there, but I'll do it again just to show you how to do it. And now you're ready to run the, the WoW engine. So that's all there is to the installation. Now, if you don't want to go through this process, just go to my Google code, download my source code, my base code, and it's all in there. So you don't even have to worry about uh, working with uh, these zip files. But I thought I'd show you how to do it in case there's an update and you want to do it yourself. So at this point, let me show you how to work with and create a WoW application.